This week's Parsha is called simply Behar. It talks about what happened at Mount Sinai, what God said at Mount Sinai, but we don't refer to anything that was said. We simply call it Behar at the mountain. If you recall in the Dayenu that we say in the, uh, in the Haggadah on Pesach, we say, uh, if, uh, if God had taken us out of Egypt without giving us all the wealth, that would be Dayenu, that would be enough reason to be grateful. Another Dayenu is, <clears throat> if God had brought us to Mount Sinai and not given us the Torah, Dayenu, that would have been enough. Enough reason to be thankful. Which is very strange because what is the blessing or the or the, the gift or the virtue of being at Har Sinai, standing by the mountain without receiving the Torah? What, what is the blessing there? What happened at Mount Sinai is that God told us that we are special to him. We became the chosen at Mount Sinai before the Torah was given. So certainly, that is a, a dayenu, that is enough reason to be grateful for the relationship itself. The Torah then gives us 613 ways in which we can participate in this relationship. In other words, there is the relationship itself, and then there are the activities that make up like a marriage. There is the marriage, and then there is the life you share together in hundreds of ways that the connection, the chosenness, like you choose a husband, you choose a wife. In addition to the chosenness, there are all of these little things that we can do that bring us closer. So as in a marriage, we can mistakenly, sadly, get hung up on the details. Like, you know, we don't communicate very well. We don't share the, the same interests and the same pleasures. Uh, we have differences of opinion. We get so hung up on that, that the, the connection, the chosenness, the essential marriage gets lost. And we stop saying dayenu. When in fact, it should be the other way around. The details are just details. The main thing, the great thing is the relationship itself. The fact that we are bound, bonded permanently, eternally, and forever in, in this connection. How well do you express the connection? How well do you participate in this connection? Uh, how thoughtful, how considerate? All these are details that are very important but they cannot be more important than the fact that we are bonded, the fact that we are chosen, both in the marriage and in, in, in our connection to God. So the word Bahar, which is the, the title, the name of this Parsha, of this portion, and we don't say any more like, what happened at this mountain? What about the mountain? It's the fact that God gathered us at the mountain. And before saying anything about what to do, how to do, he let us know that this is, this is forever. There's, there's no escape. There's no divorce. And for that, of course, we have to say Dayenu. 
We have a Sunday night program for VIPs that you might be interested in. It's informal. It's questions and answers. It's conversation. It's really relaxed. It's really pleasant, enjoyable, informative, and uh, kind of community-like. It's a Sunday night program. There's a um, Wednesday morning program for the VIPs, and there's a Wednesday night program. All of it just conversation, casual, laid back, unscripted. So join us. Take a look. Click uh, the link below and see which, which of the three suits you best and join us for some enjoyable conversation.